What gets children excited about science? What makes their curiosity spark and catch fire? Most of the scientists I know started their interest in whatever discipline they were in. Sometime before 10, kids are really anxious to learn. And they're just almost like sponges. I see Washington, DC. Many children pass through their school years never realizing the pleasure and promise of science and technology. What if you could awaken their interest? What if you could inspire one of the great discoverers of tomorrow? 12 inches, Donnell. I would really believe if a kid learns to love a subject, nobody can keep him from doing well in it. And th this program does that. This is the chocolate tree. It's raining. And you divide each one into the top. Some polymer are very stiff, like the uh, paper clip and some other. Like In 1988, science educator Harold Charlin founded a volunteer organization to bring science to life for children in Washington, D.C. area public schools. He called it RESET because it uses the talents of retired scientists, engineers, and technicians to engage young students in science, math, and technology. The idea is not to teach a body of knowledge. What we want them to get is a feel for science. We want them to be comfortable with science, to see it's doable, to come in contact with a real scientist and find out they're really human beings, and that it's fun. Good morning, children. Good morning, Miss Jacobs. Today, we're going to sort of put things together. That will Principals and teachers are quick to recognize that Reset volunteers bring something unique and valuable to the classroom. You remember first I described what a statistician does. Most teachers who teach elementary are certainly certified in K through 6 and teach all the disciplines. But science is something that if you, you either like it or you don't. And these individuals, of course, love it. That was their job, their livelihood, their life. What I'm going to do is distribute to you all little bags of M&Ms. When the reset team comes in, they come in with concrete things that the kids can actually touch and they actually build. So that really enhances the concepts of sciences as why these things occur. Now what we're going to do is arrange them by color in this order. The experience that the, the volunteers bring to the table is, is just phenomenal. If you read some of the resumes of their volunteers, it's, it's quite, uh, quite amazing. Each Reset volunteer teaches six one-hour classes over six consecutive weeks, concluding with a related field trip. Volunteers design their own experiments and coordinate their classroom activities with teachers' lesson plans. They usually give me an idea of what they'd like to cover in the six weeks, and I look at my curriculum materials, my planning, my lessons, and we structure sessions together based on what they want to accomplish and what I have to accomplish. Risa does a good job of orienting people. They have a guidebook for volunteers that describes the program and has examples within it of the kinds of projects that the volunteers do. Today, what is our experiment going to be? Polymer. This is uh, this plastic. Polymer. What is this? You've done this. Polymer. Yeah. Volunteers often use sample experiments provided in the Reset Handbook and also get ideas and inspiration from talking with Reset veterans. The goal is to find ways to capture students' attention and fuel their imaginations. Okay, now give me that back. Then will you just mix the two? Turn around to the class and mix the two. Pour them together. Pass it around to the rest of the class. Let them pour. They don't know polymer chemistry yet. It's a lot more to learn. 
but they get the idea. That's how we want to get over to them is the idea. Field trips are the capstone to the student's reset experience. The excursions, usually to local museums or research facilities, give them a chance to see principles that they have explored in class at work in the outside world. All right, guys, here we go. A fish theoretically never stops growing. The more you feed it, the bigger it gets. We went to the Air and Space Center in Washington. We went to the wind tunnel in White Oak. I mean, we went to so many places, and the children absolutely loved it. It was cool because we saw animals and stingrays. I learned about poison ivy. My favorite part is when I saw the donkey. I think it was exciting. I never learned that much stuff. Reset's success in creating enthusiasm for science has produced strong demand for the program's services. So many schools have requested volunteers that Reset now has a waiting list. Everything you see, you feel, you eat, you taste, you smell are made of chemicals. If we could have a reset volunteer in all of our classes, that would be wonderful. Um, there, there is a shortage. Our teachers are fighting as to who will there get the volunteer. Go. There we go. Look at keep going. Right now, reset goes from fourth grade through sixth grade. I would love to see it even from third grade, perhaps even second grade. Sciences should be introduced perhaps even in kindergarten. 24. He had inches. 24 and a half inches. She beat me. Ha, ha, ha. The Reset program has been supported over the years by generous financial contributions from major corporations and foundations. That support has never been more critical as Reset strives to provide volunteers to a growing number of schools and the children they serve. Your involvement with Reset could give school children a love of science that will last a lifetime. It could profoundly enrich your own life as well. It's a lovely experience. And when I go to a shopping mall, I frequently run into a student who gets all excited about seeing me. So I feel it's been extremely beneficial to the children and to myself. You realize that maybe that there is some kid in there that you sparked an interest, uh, that maybe he caught some of your enthusiasm, that you might have made a difference in that kid's life. Can you ignite that spark? You follow me? That's what's so rewarding. Uh -huh.